Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of UFTV News. I'm Juliana Straley. And I'm Heidi Paxson. Fifty people became U.S. citizens at the naturalization event. It was held at Weinbrenner Theological Seminary. Family, friends, and community members attended. The new citizens from 41 countries represented the largest naturalized group that UF has ever had. For the detailed story, check out newsroom.finley.edu keyword naturalization. This past Saturday, UFTV went to visit Chef Andre. UFTV's Alexis Mitchell has more. I train special needs kids here in Hancock County. Um, I have to say that is probably one of the most rewarding jobs I've ever had. Um, teaching these kids how to be functional in the hospitality industry and to see some of them out working afterwards was, was just a, a big joy. Along with serving the Finley community, cooking has been Chef Andre's passion for years. He is excited to share that passion on UFTV. And it, so it's not the dish itself, it's about getting people excited about the dishes. Chef Andre hopes that people will have fun and be creative with his dishes, but ultimately, he just likes seeing the smile on his customers' faces. If you cook something and you're watching people eat it and, and they get that look on their face like, oh my, oh, I love it, that's the ultimate joy. From UFTV News, I'm Alexis Mitchell. To see more of Chef Andre, go to UFTV's YouTube channel. On April 7th, UF President Catherine Fell awarded an Honorary Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Education to 102-year-old Mary Federici. It has been 85 years between her high school graduation and accepting her degree. She left her college classes only a few hours short of graduating to accept a kindergarten teaching job. Mary has lived through it all from days before iPhones or smart boards, but she has always kept her students engaged. Visit UF Newsroom for the full story. When we come back, check out what programs at UF have been top ranked. So they say it's a man's world? Well, I don't see anybody's name on it. While well, they were out doing their thing, we slowly changed all that. Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. <gasps> hey, look, it's those guys. How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? Go and step out of the vehicle for me. See ya, buddy. Good luck. So turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. Three University of Finley College of Health Professions programs have been included in the U.S. News & World Report's 2018 Best Graduate Schools Guidebook. This included degrees in Occupational Therapy, Physician Assistant, and the Doctor of Physical Therapy program. The annual Symposium for Scholarship and Creativity took place on Friday, April 7th. This event included award ceremonies and a variety of oral and poster presentations. Both undergrad and grad students' class projects were showcased. College of Pharmacy faculty, staff, and 45 recently accepted students and their parents walked through a balloon arch back in March. They were celebrating being accepted as UF Pharmacy students. In the AMU, almost 200 people enjoyed refreshments, photo booths, and socialized. The new recruits also got their chance to meet the, their College of Pharmacy student mentors to help them prep for college. Stay tuned for some Euler sports. 
There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Why do I choose Union Bank? Convenience. At work, home, or out and about. I can check my balance from my smartphone, laptop, or tablet, and even deposit a check. I'll find convenient locations all across the region with a staff who cares from my community and a great network of ATMs. So there's always one close by. Visit theubank.com and see just how convenient your community bank is for you. Thank you, Omar. Member FDIC. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort... Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son! It's always worth it. Whoa, master! The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Why is it that high? Oh, rental Property is a family-owned and operated residential rental company serving Finley, Ohio, and its surrounding areas. For over 50 years, Wasbro Rental Property has helped residents find the right apartment to fit their needs. Go to theshermanhouse.net for more rental information or call 419-423-8321. Wasbro is proud to support the Family Media Network. It's been an exciting weekend here for UFTV Athletics. Hi, everybody. I'm Darius Merriweather, and this is UFTV Sports. The softball team struggled this weekend as they took on Grand Valley State on Saturday in a doubleheader. The first game, the Oilers would lose 6-0, but in the second game, things would pick up for the Oilers as they took off on a 3-0 lead off of a Dittanini Keaton home run. That lead, however, would get washed away as Grand Valley State surged back to win 6-4. The softball team also took on Fair State this past Sunday, where it was another doubleheader, but this time they would split an and achieve a one to nothing record, one one on one record. Excuse me. The first game, the Oilers had no runs, losing five to zero. But in the second game, they were victorious, winning nine to four. They will be back in action this Friday at 1 p.m. at the Cube, where they'll go against the Ashland University Eagles for another doubleheader. The softball team overall record is 17 and 16, and they are seven and five in the GLIAC. This past Saturday and Sunday, the Oilers baseball team took off to Hillsdale to take on the Chargers. Things did not work out for the Oilers as they lost all four games. Addition to that, they also took on Indianapolis where they also lost 4-1. The current, the current record of the baseball team is 17-12 after their five game losing streak. Also, they are 7-9 in the GLIAC. The next game is this Friday against, the, say, against Walsh University at the Cube at 1 p.m. for another doubleheader. Rounding out UFTV Sports this week, the women's lacrosse team was back in action this past Saturday when they took on the Northern Michigan University. And the Oilers dominated the game from start to finish, where they won 20-2 off of a big game from Sierra Baroud, who had three goals, three assists, and three ground balls. Rachel Heath also had a big game, as she also came up with four saves on the game. The overall record for the lacrosse team is 6-6, six and, six, and their next opponent will be Tiffin University at Tiffin, at 12 p.m. this Friday. That's going to do it here for UFTV Sports. Back to you guys at the news desk. That wraps it up for this week's edition of UFTV News. I'm Heidi Paxson. And I'm Juliana Straley. Have a great weekend and happy Easter. Underwriting is to UFTV what advertising is to commercial television. By sharing our costs, organizations can satisfy their corporate and marketing objectives through an association with UFTV programming. 
Our underwriting team can design a program that is custom made for you to reach your advertising goals on UF's media network, UFTV, The Pulse, or WLFC 88.3. To underwrite a program, contact UFTV at 419-434-5909.